years. I've not even been in this house. It's more than a year. And why is that? You didn't like her? I liked her all well enough, but farmers' wives have their hands full, Mr. Henderson. And then... Yes? It never seemed a very cheerful place. No, it's not cheerful. I shouldn't say she had the homemaking instinct. Well, I don't know his right hat either. You mean that they didn't get along very well? No, I don't mean anything. I just don't know if a place would be any cheerful for John Wright's being in it. I'd like to talk a little more of that later. I do want to talk about that. I'd like to get the lay of things upstairs now. Well, I suppose anything Mrs. Peters does will be all right. She's supposed to take in some clothes and a few little things for her, you know. We left in such a hurry yesterday. Yes. I'd like to see what you take, Miss Peters. And keep an eye out for anything that might be of use to us. Yes, Mr. Anderson. <coughs> Well, I'd hate to have men coming into my kitchen, snooping around and criticizing. Of course, it's no more than their duty. Duty's all right. But I guess that deputy sheriff that came out yesterday to make a fire must have got a little bit of this on. Wish I'd thought of that sooner. Seems mean to talk of her for not having things slicked up when she had to come away in such a hurry. Oh, she had bread set. She was going to put this in there. It's a shame about her fruit. I wonder if it's all gone. I think there's some here that's all right, Miss Peters. Yes, here. It's cherries, too. She'll feel awful bad after all her hard work in hot weather. I remember the afternoon I put up my cherries. Well, I must get those things from the front room closet. You coming with me, Mrs. Hill? You can help me carry them. Oh, my, it's cold in there. You know, Wright was close. I think maybe that's why she kept to herself so much. You know, she didn't even belong to the ladies' aid. Suppose she felt she couldn't do her part, and then you don't enjoy things when you feel shabby. She used to wear pretty dresses and be lively back when she was Minnie Foster, just one of the town girls singing in the choir. But that was 30 years ago. Is this all you used to take? Oh, she said she wanted an apron. Funny thing to want for... There isn't much to get you dirty in jail, goodness knows, but I suppose just to make her feel more natural. She said they was in the top drawer in this cupboard here. Oh, and then the little shawl that always hung behind the door. Here it is. Miss Peters, do you think she did it? Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't think she did. Asking for an apron and her little shawl, worrying about her fruit. Mr. Peters says it looks bad for her. Mr. Henderson is awful sarcastic in speech, and he'll make fun of her saying she didn't wake up. Well, I guess John Wright didn't wake up and they were slipping that rope under his neck. No, it's strange. It must have been done awful crafty and still. They say it was such a funny way to kill a man, rigging it all up like that. That's just what Mr. Hale said. There was a gun in the house. He says that's what he can't understand. Well, Mr. Henderson said coming out that what was needed for the case was a motive, something to show anger or sudden feeling. Well, I don't see any signs of anger around here. It's white here. I wonder how they're finding things upstairs. I hope she had it a little more tidy up there. It just seems sneaky. Locking her up in town and then coming out here and trying to get her own house to turn against her. 
But, Mrs. Hale, the law is the law. I suppose it is. Better loosen up your things, Miss Peters. You won't feel them when you go out. Choose piece in a quilt. It's log cabin patterned. Pretty, isn't it? Well, I wonder if she was going to quilt it or just knot it. <laughs> they wonder if she was going to quilt it or just knot it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Frank's fire didn't do much out there. Let's go out to the barn and get that cleared up. so strange as taking up our time with little things while they're getting the evidence. It's nothing to laugh about. Well, of course, they've got awful important things on their minds. Here, look at this, Miss Peters. This is the one that she was working on. But look at the sewing. It's all over the place. It's as if she didn't know what she was about. Oh, what are you doing, Mrs. Hale? I'm just pulling out a stitch or two that's not sewed very well. I don't think we should touch things. I'll just finish up this end. Miss Peters. Yes, Mrs. Hale? What do you suppose she was so nervous about? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know why she was nervous. I sometimes sew awful queer when I'm just tired. Well, I must get these things wrapped up. I wonder where I could find a piece of paper and string. In that cupboard, maybe. Why, here's a bird cage. Did she have a bird, Mrs. Hale? I don't know whether she did or not. There was a man around here last year selling canaries cheap, but I don't know if she took one or not. Maybe she did. She used to sing real pretty herself. Seems funny to think of a bird here, but she must have had one or why should she have a cage? I wonder what happened to it. I guess the cat got it. No, she doesn't like cats. She's got that feeling some people have about cats. Being afraid of them? My cat got in her room and she got real upset and asked me to leave. My sister Bessie was like that. Queer, ain't it? Why, look at this door. It's broke. One hinge is pulled apart. Looks as if someone must have been rough with it. Why, yes. Well, I wish if they were going to find any evidence, they'd be about it. I don't like this place. But I'm awful glad you came with me, Mrs. Hale. It would be lonesome for me, sitting here all alone. It would, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what I do wish, Miss Peters. I wish I'd come out to see her sometimes when she was here. I wish I had. But, of course, you were awful busy with your, your family and your children, Mrs. Hill. I could have come. I stayed away because it weren't cheerful, but that's why I ought to have come. I've never liked this place. Maybe because it's down in a hollow and you can't see the road. I don't know what it is, but it's a lonesome place. It always was. I should have come to see Minnie Foster sometimes. I can see now that she... Well, you mustn't reproach yourself, Mrs. Hale. Sometimes we just don't see how it is for other folks until something comes up. Not having any children makes for less work, but it makes for a quiet house. With Ray out to work all day and then no company when he did come in. Did you know John Wright, Mrs. Peters? Not to know him. I've seen him in town. They say he was a good man. Yes, good. He didn't drink and he kept his word as well as most, I guess. He paid his debts. But he was a hard man just to pass the time of day with him, like a raw wind that cuts to the bone. 
I suppose she would have wanted a bird. But what do you suppose went with it? I don't know, unless it got sick and died. <coughs> I'll tell you what, Miss Peters. Why don't you bring this quilt to her? It might take up her mind. Why, I think that's a real nice idea, Mrs. Hale. And there couldn't possibly be any objection to it, could there? Now, what would I take? Maybe her patches are somewhere here. Here's some bread. I expect this has got sewing things in it. What a pretty box. Looks like something somebody would give me. Maybe her scissors are in here. There's something wrapped up in this piece of silk. Miss Peters! It's... Why, this isn't her scissors. It's... It's the bird. But look at its neck. It's all other side, too. Somebody wrung its neck. Well, ladies, have y'all decided whether she was going to quilt it or knot it? Uh, we think she was going to knot it. Well, that's interesting. Has the bird flown? Um, we think the cat got it. There's a cat? Well, not now. They're superstitious, you know. They leave. No sign at all of anyone coming from the outside. Their own rope. Let's go back upstairs and get that cleared up. It had to have been somebody who knew just the. She liked the bird. She was going to bury it in this pretty box. When I was a girl, my kitten, there was a boy who took a hatchet, and before my eyes and before I could get there, if they hadn't held me back, I would have hurt them. I wonder how it would have been never to have any children around. No, Wright wouldn't like the bird, a thing that sang. She used to sing. He killed that too. We don't know who killed the bird. I knew John Wright. It was